Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. I want to show off my little mug. I am drinking orange juice in a mug, but I just love this mug. I got it at a Jasna Tea, the Jane Austen Society of North America. It's one of my literary things. I don't really talk about that much, but I love this mug. So I just wanted to show it to you before I start in on my May collective haul. I have so much stuff in front of me. It's not too much, but I just, I'm going to jump in and kind of show you what, what I purchased and what my thoughts are if I've tried any of it. First thing is this little Urban Decay set from Macy's. This was something that was $15 with any purchase from the Game of Thrones collection. Well, I ordered this and I ordered uh, Long Claw, the brush. And I was so excited and then they canceled my order because they ran out of Long Claw, Long Claw, which really sucked because I had used my Macy's Beauty Box coupon on it and I didn't get, you know, they don't let you reuse that coupon. So I was pretty upset that one, I lost the coupon and then I ended up with the stuff that I wasn't super excited about. But anyway, there's part of it that I'm excited about. The part I'm not excited about is the 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. This is in Perversion. It's the, no, it's in black, sorry. Zero. It's the black shade. And then I have a little mini Perversion Mascara, which I won't use, so I'll be passing those along. This one is pretty exciting. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and this is the original one. So I'm excited that will actually last quite a long time and I've had foil packets of this and I've enjoyed the foil packets of it so I'm excited about that and then this is the real reason I picked it up it is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray this is the one ounce version so that is what it looks like so that one those two I am excited about Costco buy was the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. I bought this set. There's 114 in here. So you get like four regular packs and two small packs. Yeah, there you go. I got these because I'm going to be traveling a lot and these are just easier to take and they were on sale. So it was $11.99 for all of those, which is a really good price because you can pay like $5 for one pack. This guy I've never showed you, but i bought it like a, last year at some point and I forgot about it and it is the urban it's not urban decay it's the Kat Von D metal crush eyeshadow and this is in the shade thunderstruck I paid two dollars for this at TJ Maxx and so yeah good price happy to have it it's just this little plain white kind of highlighty shade I don't have a lot of highlight single shadows so I got that to just use when I um, have a palette that doesn't have like something for the brow bone or the all over then at let's see TJ Maxx I picked up these two super excited to find these they are both Marc Jacobs lip products this one is called Jolly Molly and it is a full size la creme lipstick it is beautiful. They were untouched, which was very important. And what a great shade, right? Isn't that beautiful? And then this one is the one I'm super excited about. This was an exclusive for Harrods, which, you know, we don't have Harrods here in the States, which is why I was excited about it. It's a beautiful lip gloss. I'm not going to open it though, because I did, you know, how you can unscrew them a little bit and pull up and you can tell if people have fiddled with them. This one has not been opened. So it's going to stay that way. This is the shade Charlotte and I have been wanting a version of Charlotte since Marc Jacobs came out with it because it is named after Princess Charlotte in England and I just think that's super cute. There's it. There it is. So it's going to be staying in its box. We'll see later on once I finish up stuff if I want to do something more with it. We'll see. Also from TJ Maxx, this guy right here, 
This is the Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. This was $19.99. Oh, and these two lipsticks were both $7.99. So 16 bucks for two Marc Jacobs lipsticks was pretty good. This is what the palette looks like. I know you've seen this before. It was everywhere and I thought it was pretty, but I never wanted to pay the price for it. And then when I found it for 19, I was like, okay, yeah, we'll get that one. We'll do a couple swatches. Well, we'll swatch all of them. I was kind of worried about the bronzer because it is kind of dark and the highlights are a little darker. That's what they look like, but oh, they're pretty. I love Becca products, so I'm excited to have this, especially for the price. I gotta clean off my hands, so give me a second. I just broke open the Neutrogena wipes and I forgot how lovely they are. Oh, feels so nice. My dear friend Lynn gave me this, so this will be going into a sample Saturday at some point. It's a sample pack from Aveeno, and it looks like there's a peel-off mask and some infusion drops, which I'm not sure about either one, but she thought I could have them on my channel, which I thought was super sweet. Oh, okay. So it says treat for that extra glow. And then, yeah, it has soy and kiwi in it. Ooh, that's a little bright. And it does have a coupon, but I don't know when it's going to expire. But there it is right there. It is at Amazon Max Glow 20. And yeah, so there's a little peel off mask. And then here's what the infusion drops look like. Oh good, they're not in a glass container. Apply two to three top drops to the palm of your hand and gently smooth onto skin. And you can add it to your favorite moisturizer too. So I will be using those, that's for sure. All right, let's move on. Oh, I have one more thing from TJ Maxx I totally forgot about. It's a little harder to grab though. It's this guy. And I haven't, I was not gonna buy any more bath products, but I saw this on the clearance rack and I was like $6 for the body shop and it's my favorite scent and I just had to get it. So this is what the guy, little guy looked like. I was shocked that everything was still in there because we all know that when you're in TJ Maxx, stuff gets trashed really, really a lot. So it does have a little buff puff on it or a body puff, just a little one. And then you have a bar of soap. This is, oh, it smells so good. I just smell strawberries right now. This is just a soap, which is awesome. Then you have the softening body polish and it actually has strawberry seeds in there. If you can see, really excited about that one. Then we have the body butter and I have gone through, I had the biggest tub of the body shop body butter and strawberry. It was huge. It was, it was like a, I don't know, even know how big it was, but it was not like the regular size or the slightly larger size that they have. It was like, it was a huge tub. And then a really good size body wash. So this one, shower gel, it is 8.4 ounces, which is, you know, good size. I'm excited about that. Let's see, let's go on. Oh, I, man, I spot, I bought a lot of stuff at TJ Maxx that I forgot about. I also picked up this little guy. This is the Heart Heaven set from Makeup Revolution or I Heart Revolution. And in here are five highlighters. And they are all like holiday themed, which I thought was pretty cool. Let me grab them all out really fast. So we'll start with the first one, which is Candy Cane Heart, which is super cute. And then we have Apple Cinnamon Heart. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed they aren't scented because that would just make them even better. I feel like they wiggle in there just a little bit. Makes me nervous. Then we have the Snowflake Heart. Just plain silver. Marzipan Heart. Oh, this one is beautiful. And Gingerbread Heart. 
right there. So let's do a swatch of all of them. We're gonna go across. So we got gingerbread. Ooh, that has some depth to it. You could really do something fun with that. Marzipan, that's my, oh, this might be my favorite. At least the pattern on it. I have one highlighter from Makeup Revolution that's in this type of container that I love. Oh, that's so pretty. So when I saw this, this was $14.99, I was like, hmm, yep. This one is a little more chunky, the Snowflake Heart. And it is more stark white, but it is kind of similar to Marzipan. And then we have the Apple Cinnamon right here. Ooh, that actually is a really nice color too. And then finally, the Candy Cane Heart. I've messed up all of the pretty patterns though, but that's it right there. Swatching with them is a little hard. Oh, that would make a really nice blush actually. Like, that's a sl slightly darker one, but those are all of the things. That is all that I got from TJ Maxx, I swear. All right, the next thing, which is the only perfume in this, because I did film a separate perfume haul and then I picked this up, so. It is the Machino Toy 2 gift set. I picked this up at Dillard's because Memorial Day weekend, they were doing 20 or 15% off of beauty and fragrance. And then also, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I love the card. I picked up the card because I just needed to have the little card because it was so cute. This is what it looks like. It does look like a teddy bear. Well, let's take it out of the package. It did come with a perfumed body lotion. So not only did I have the 15% off, but I had purchased that gift set from Dillard's in April. So I had a $15 coupon too. So that's what he looks like. He's so cute. Almost as cute as the original toy. Although this one smells so much better, which is hard to do because the other one smelled good. But this, oh my gosh, it is a citrus heaven, but like a sweet citrus. It, it's so good. Oh my gosh. It is, it probably is going to be one of my favorite scents. I did pick up the largest one because of that. So yeah, really excited about that. Picked up this little guy from Macy's. This is the Timeless Smoothing Primer from Tarte. I've been using this one. I just kept the box so that I could show it to you guys. But you can see I've made a pretty good dent in it already. And this stuff I picked up because it was 40% off from Macy's. And then I had a $5 play pass, or not play, um, the Macy's Beauty Box coupon and Star Rewards. So I got this for $9.50 with shipping and tax and everything. Because if you are a Macy's card holder, like if you're a Gold Rewards member, which you don't have to have a card now, I guess. Anyway, you still get free shipping. I know that's been a thing, but you can still get free shipping. It's just a little more difficult. The reason I had that $10 was because I purchased the Aladdin collection from Mac from Macy's. And I went in store because that's where our Mac counter is here. And oh my goodness, I, I already knew I was going to be in love, but it is so gorgeous. Here is the eyeshadow palette. And I know some of this is sold out already, which makes me sad. But it's not the most exciting palette. I will say that. I think the shades are pretty. I'll swatch some of them. What did I do? Oh, we'll do this one. You know, it's a good palette for work. And that's why I got it. I thought, you know, one, it's gorgeous. But two, I can take this and I can wear this to work and it's going to be appropriate, which is something that's kind of important most days when I am teaching at the cult college level. I also picked up the blush, which is really a highlighter. I don't know why they called it a, high, a blush and the gal in Mac was like, yeah, I don't understand it either. It's really shiny. It wants to be reflective. I'm not going to swatch this because I want it to be pristine. I'm sorry because look at that embossing. It's so, ugh. This is always one jump ahead. It's really pretty though. If I ever decide to use it, I will really enjoy it. But that's, it's just a little hard right now. And then I picked up 
three of the lipsticks. I did not get the fourth one because it was an amplified or a cream sheen, something like that. I can't remember which one. And I just, I don't really like that formula too much. And it was so light. I did not realize how light it was. And I thought, you know what? Those, I'm never going to wear that. And contrary to the highlighter, I actually want to wear the lipsticks. So this is what the lipstick tube looks like. It is reflective. It says Aladdin and Mac, and it has little um, peacock feathers on it. I did pick up A Whole New World, which is honestly my favorite of the shades. And I've worn this in some videos lately. <laughs> then I picked up this one, which is Raja, which is the darkest one, which was kind of intimidating. But man, it looks great on, and I was really excited about it. And then the last one I picked up was Princess Incognito. And oh, this might be one of my favorite nudes of all time. So Prince, uh, Whole New World, Raja, and Princess Incognito. Love all of those. I did put in an order during the Memorial Day sale from Sephora, and I did get this sample of even everyday shampoo and conditioner. It has coconut water and sugar beet extract, bahoba protein, and Amazonian oils. I don't know if that's going to... Why does it never want to show? I don't know why. Anyway, that, and then I also got... This was an, one of the offers. This is the good night, or what is it? Seven days of age fighting power from Ola Hendrickson. There is the Retin Alt Power Serum for the day. And then for the night, it is the good night glow Retin Alt sleeping treatment. There is one, two, three, four. There's seven of them. I should have known that because it says it's the seven day set. So I did get that. I thought it would be interesting to try because I do like Ola. Ula Hendrickson and I love retinol so decided to get that and what I ordered was the my mini Lila palette from or Lila or however you say it from Natasha Denona this was $12.50 half price and it was something I had been interested in oh that feels so soft I have not touched this palette yet so I am pretty excited about it we'll see It's a little hard to swatch with my thumb, but that's what the colors are. And those actually are pretty darn nice. So I'm actually, I do think that was a fairly good purchase for $12.50. I wasn't as impressed with the star palette. I do have the mini star palette. I am planning to get sometime this month, which is, it's just barely June, the sunset palette because there is a code through a lore that you can get it through Natasha's website for 30% off. So I'm that's that's my plan. I don't know if I'm going to actually do that because it's still like a hundred dollars, which is a lot of money. I do love my cranberry palette from her, and I like my tropical palette, so I don't know. And then the other thing I got, this was the only one available because all the other ones were gone. From Pat McGrath, this is the Mothership Subversive La Vie en Rose palette. This is actually how it came. There is no outside packaging. This little guy on the side, if you can see, it was not attached. It was just floating, so I think it goes there. It could go someplace else on the package, but I have no idea. It was already falling apart. This is what it looks like inside. There are six shades, and we'll take off the little thing that tells you what the colors are. I just nicked it, dang it. And we are gonna swatch all of them, because why not? I did wear this in a couple, no, not just, not a couple. In one video, I wore it the day I got it, and I filmed, I think maybe my mascara collection. I can't remember, but I did wear this and I do like it. The colors are really different and pretty, which is important. And our last three, trying to make sure that gold is like super, super soft. And it's going to, if you're not careful, you have to be really, you have to be really careful about it. So the first three didn't swatch quite as well. I wonder if it's because I had a little residue 
on my hands for those second three, but it's really pretty. I was excited about it and I thought the look looked good. I know my makeup is not always the best and you know, it, it, it's something I'm working on and you know, you practice every day and you practice to get better. And But I thought that was a fairly good look. So that's what the colors look like. $27.50 on 50% off. Would not have paid $55 for it because that's crazy. It's, you know, that's like super expensive. Although I did pay $65 for this next item. Well, minus the VIB sale. I did pick up the Game of Thrones palette. I did kind of put this in my Sephora VIB haul that I also picked it up, but it hadn't come in yet. And I was going to return it, and then I thought, you know, I'm not going to. It is tinted down here, which is a bummer, because literally, I mean, it's pretty, and I like it and everything. But the reason I got it was because of this. And I don't know if I mentioned or not, but I collect dolls. I collect a lot of things. But I have this little doll that's about this big that's called Amelia Thimble. And she's by my favorite doll designer, Robert Tonner, who just quit his company and shuttered it this year. It was so sad. But I want to put her there because I think she will look super cute. She's just, you know, about that big. She'll fit just perfectly. And so I bought her a very expensive prop, basically. But I also thought this was just really cool looking. It is really thick. It is like the Alice through the Looking Glass palette in that the palette comes out. So you can actually take this out I'm not going to swatch it because there are a million swatch videos of it. And since I did buy it just to display, I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I think it's super cool. I'm not even like a Game of Thrones fan. Like I've read the first two books, but the show is just too much for me. So I never watched past season one. But this set was just super cool. I mentioned earlier that I had ordered Long Claw and it didn't come in and it was canceled and I was bummed. Well, I walked into Ulta to make a return and these were sitting on the display. And so I grabbed them and I had to do like some research to see where I had money because they are $28 a piece and it was not payday yet. So I was running short on money. But I eventually got it figured out and picked them up and the gal was shocked that I found them and said, where did you find them? I said, they were just sitting on the display and she was like, where did they come from? She was really shocked because she thought they were all sold out and they weren't. Somehow they found their way back. I have no idea. This video is super long. So last few things. This is Ulta free gifts. They canceled the thing that I bought. I ordered the Lancome Visionaire Serum, which was half price and all this stuff was supposed to be free with that. And they canceled that, but they sent me all the free gifts. So this first one was the skincare set that you got with a $30 skincare purchase. And they're all from Patchology. We have the Daily Gel Moisturizer Aqua Flash. We have a Just Let It Glow Healthy Glow Sheet Mask. We have a hydrating lip gel and then we have restoring night eye gels this was with any online purchase this little bag of samples it was kind of crazy this one is a 48 hour shape memory hair gel a BB don't blow it fine hair styler from rusk this is a shampoo and conditioner from the one by Frederick Fakai shampoo and conditioner, hemp's shampoo and conditioner, unwashed bio cleansing conditioner, which doesn't want to show up. It's too light. Then we have from Phyto, this is a shampoo. And then from Take a Shot, I guess, it's a man-made wash, I don't know, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And it does have a little shot glass on the back. I have no idea. So got all of those. And then this was a platinum perk, I think, from Redkin. It is a set of four things. We have this first thing, which is a extreme high hold hairspray, which is a fairly good size. This is a four ounce. 
Then we have the United 25 Benefits. It's a leave-in conditioner. I've had that before and I have enjoyed it. And then a shampoo and conditioner for American. These are the All Soft. I was done with shampoo and conditioner samples before I got this. I had figured it out. I was not going to have any more. I was excited. And then I and now I have a whole bunch more. And then finally, I got this. This was the Diamond Perk for the month. It is the Clinique Even Better Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF Foundation. And I got it in the shade 0.75 Custard. Why don't you want to show up? There we go. It's a little yellower on screen. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I picked up this one. I haven't even tried it on my skin. I was hoping it would be the right color. Wow, it's spurting out. We're gonna put that back on. Ooh. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully it will work on my skin. That was a lot that spurted out, but let's see, maybe it will match. It's hard to color match foundation online, especially when it's one that you haven't gotten before and you're trying to guess and I have no idea. Anyway, that is my May haul. It was more than I thought I was going to get, but also I don't feel like I did too terrible. Like I didn't go super crazy like I have in the past, although perfumes, that was more of a crazy thing. Let me know what you have purchased recently. Are you still doing a no buy? Are you doing are you doing well on your no buy? Are you being a good shopper or are you occasionally going crazy like me? Anyway, I hope you are having a fantastic day. I can't read to, wait to read your comments down below and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.